Today I'm in the kitchen making old-fashioned impossible cheeseburger pie. You can find this recipe all throughout old church cookbooks. It originally came from the back of a Bisquick box mix. So we are gonna be using Bisquick on the top of this recipe today. If you can't get Bisquick where you are at, we have a recipe for a homemade biscuit mix on our website, tasteoflizzytea.com. Let's start by browning the ground beef. In a skillet, brown one and a half pounds of ground beef, half of a cup of onion, and then just cook and crumble that until it's completely brown. While the ground beef is browning, you can mix up the biscuit topping that will get baked on top of the casserole. Put one cup of Bisquick in a bowl, one cup of milk, and then three large eggs. Just whisk that together until it's mostly smooth. It's okay if there's a few little lumps, just like with pancake batter, they will bake out when the casserole bakes. After the meat is completely browned, drain off any fat. Then add in one teaspoon of minced garlic, half a teaspoon of salt, and then a fourth of a teaspoon of black pepper, and just mix that in. You can bake this in an eight by eight or nine by nine square casserole pan, but I'm using a round deep dish pie plate today for the casserole. Spray it with some cooking spray, and then add the ground beef mixture to the bottom of the pan, and then spread it out evenly. I have freshly shredded cheddar cheese. Sprinkle about one cup on the top of that meat, and then pour the biscuit mix over the top. Try to get it as evenly over the top as possible, but if you don't, you can kind of tip the pan and let it run to any spots that are not covered. And then it's ready for the oven. I have the oven preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. This is gonna bake for about 30 minutes. I traditionally cut this in eight slices like you would a pie. If you love taco recipes, you'll have to check out our Taco Impossible Pie. It has um, taco seasoned meat in it, and it's just a fun variation on this recipe. Head over to tasteoflizzytea.com to print this cheeseburger pie recipe. I hope it's a recipe that your family will love.